Welcome everyone to yet yeah, another Jake the Player. I'm Jake, and today we're going to take a look at Xbox. I mean, ugh, look at this monster. Oh my god, that thing weighs a ton. It's so heavy. I. How could you call it the console? It's more like a VCR. At least it doesn't look like this thing. Oh my now, is gosh. That, is it Imagine. Just imagine, guys. Can't talk Xbox without bringing up Halo. Now this is the Xbox game. After Microsoft released the Xbox in 2001, it was only a matter of time before the Xbox would leave a huge footprint on the gaming industry. That's fascinating. But I guess the X is kind of cute. <laughs> Nothing screams Xbox more than an X. This is the controller. Um, this is a slim version. Yeah, this is a slim. Look how massive this thing is. That is just a slim. Don't even get me started on the original, aka the Duke. The Duke. And don't get me started on why they call it that. Now this is the Xbox Duke controller, and I can see why they call it that. Just look at it, it's so massive. I can't even imagine how it feels in the hands. All problems would be fixed with the 360. I mean, look at this controller. Feels good, nice, nice grips. L and R feel good. Nice buttons. They're the same buttons. But overall, better controller. Although lighter, still weighs a hefty ton, man. I mean, what is up with Xboxes and being such chunksters? Oh, this, although this one looks pretty, <laughs> pretty nice, I gotta say. <laughs> although you have to be worried about the earlier models because there's a red ring of death virus going around and you do not want your Xbox to catch it. So, um, here's what you should do. Give your Xbox a mask. That did not work. There we go. So, we took a look at the 360 and the Classic already. So, now we are going to take a look at another big boy. Ah, I Once again, a chunkster. I'm not really a big fan of this iteration of the controller. Um, I just find it a little weird. Um, compared to this, um, it's just me though. I mean, I find one thing nice about it, uh, the D-pad's actually kind of decent for this time and age. I mean, it's kind of hard to come by a good D-pad. And I guess the LNRs still feel pretty good. The Xbox One S is a amazing upgrade in every way. Looks sleek, modern, and very nice. Same with the Xbox One X. I mean, just look how modern and sleek it is. Better than the original in every way. I kinda like it. <laughs> now this is the Xbox Series X. And quite frankly, it's pretty massive. So you got these vents on top. That's pretty cool. Um, disk drive. Yep. Very lovely. Um, but once again, just a chunkster. And um, the controller actually is a big upgrade compared to the Xbox One. I mean, this feels very nice. It's like it's like an Xbox One and a 360 controller had babies. And you get this thing. It feels really good in the hands. The D-pad is a little questionable, but I don't think a lot of games use that anymore. <laughs> the, the triggers feel nice. Um, I like the joysticks. Overall, really good controller, and, um, the Series X, very simplistic, but it, it's very nice looking, I gotta say. It's a great looking fridge. Look at many Xboxes throughout the years. They all vary in design, shape, hell, even design. At the original Xbox controller, Compared to the latest one, it's literally night and day. We've had our we have our ups, we had our downs, and we had our ups again. 
And uh, what do I have to say about Xbox? It's a pretty good console. I mean, it bridges the gap between PC and console. Quite literally. That is it for this Jake the Player on Xbox. I'm Jake, and see you next time.